hi friends welcome back so guys um, in this video we are going to learn about API how to create an API using our resource thing okay so resource is nothing but uh, one more Laravel model thing okay so we'll be starting it so guys before that creating any API um, you need some data okay to show that on your uh, that is your API or whatever it is so guys um if you uh, you can watch out the playlist in my uh, that is laravel crud okay so make a pura crud application where you can read update delete in that i am going to use api okay so i'll show you the output now so guys make sure that your terminal i mean your php artisan is served at your terminal and let me show and this is my output okay so yeah guys so all the data are there edit update delete we are doing with this if you want to know out about this i have given in the description about this playlist where we are creating the laravel crud okay so now we want to retrieve this data by the api format okay so guys for that let's get started and as simple thing we have to start with our normal api thing so you have to start your terminal okay so in this terminal i am going to create one um, the api resource okay so let's create one api resource so type php artisan make colon resource okay and your resource name so my resource name what i'm going to give is that student because i have done with the student model and all i mean the laravel crud using student thing so i'll just give enter and my student resource created successfully okay so let's check whether the resource is created inside app http there will one folder will be created automatically okay resource called inside that student.php okay i have specified this name student because i have used the student controller and my model and all so i want to retrieve this data this student's data okay so this is all about my students data where i am going name course address and his phone number so i want to make this student api so i have given one specific name called student okay so no confusion now now with the help of this resource we will retrieve a api okay so let's start with that so i don't need this so i'm going to comment this and type our own code so i'm going to return that is mm, the colon and and now in this we have to return it id so what id is that we are i mean we have access the the table contents okay what are the ids of that student controller okay so let's uh, go to our database migration and one student table we have created okay so inside this we have id name course address and mobile so i'm going to my resource api resource there i will create student underscore dollar this of this of id okay this of id comma and copy this control c paste it now next in field is name okay let's see it is name course address and mobile okay so let's enter name next is course c o u r s e course copy that and paste it over here course and next is mm, mobile mobile so i'm going to copy this and paste it over here mobile done so it's pasted now let's create that created also okay so let's type c r e a t e d created underscore at colon dollar this which is that at created okay created underscore at give comma and copy this 
and type as updated okay and give updated done so now mm, let me close this okay so it's ready now our uh, api resource is ready so what we have to do is that we have to use this in one url to get this api okay so let's go to our web route php i'll close this database okay so as simple mm, now what you have to do is that yeah go to routes inside that api.php will be there so let's open that and give the coding for api api routing so let's use mm, we'll give route route colon get inside that slash demo or not demo we'll give students okay students so my students will be and inside this the controller what you have created okay so the controller is mm, student controller okay so if you want to see inside controller http controller student controller okay so i have already created this this is a mm, previous laravel crud thing so inside that i am uh, adding the api okay so we will go to this student controller student controller controller at show all i will give okay let's show all in that and save it now let's go to student controller at show all so let's click on student controller inside app http controllers student controller okay so this is the um laravel crud thing okay so what we have to do is that now we will create one function at the top of it we will create one function called mm, public what is that function and your function name so function name you have given over here in your route api.php so let's copy that show all and paste it and we will display the data as simple okay so dollar students will create one variable called dollar students is equal to and your model name okay so model name is nothing but student okay wait i will show you student of all function method okay and return and return in json format okay so let's so how to return it so now i have created one variable and we given the model in students so inside app there is a student.php which we have created the model okay so now we will use here and then return into um json format so that json format should be written in in the resource container okay resource folder we have created one student.php so from there we have to retrieve it okay so to use this in this controller to use this resource api into this controller you have to use at the top named um, use app inside the root okay app http slash inside http resource folder re mm, s o u r s c e s resource resource and then your resource i mean resource api name so my api name is student so i'll give another name this student as student resource okay i'll just mention it called student resource give some call okay so i have mentioned this student as student resource so i'm going to use this and return the value over here okay so let's return it and give double colon or scope resolution whatever you say so collection of dollar of what your students okay so let's copy this and paste it over here okay and done so guys um that's it now let's go and check out the output for it so 
let's serve the artisan okay so make sure your php artisan is running so my php artisan is running now so let's go back and refresh it once again so yeah so before you as you know that laravel needs api before your route okay and this is your route students let's click enter and see all this data will be coming in json format okay so data is coming into json formats mm, this is not arranged okay so it is not a google chrome so for that it's so guys you can see the data that is this is the id one name with prakash and course is bca and phone number created and updated at okay so this id two and some id mm, three okay so where is that id three um yeah so it is here so you have got all the details okay so i'll just show you one two three details we have entered with prakash and prakash and shahid so we have all the details in a json i mean json format that is called api resource using resource okay so guys in this video that's it and in next video we will be learning how to retrieve this data this data by its id in a json format so in this json format we will be retrieving the data by its single id so if you want id1 so you press id1 and you will retrieve the data okay if there is no data it will show an error okay that is there is no data available okay so guys in this video that's it thank you for watching this video and please subscribe like and share the video thank you guys once again